Happy Homebrew Wednesday, hope you're all doing okay. Um, just a quick update on um, my brewing activities um, and uh, cheers, happy uh, Homebrew Wednesday. Um, this is just uh, nothing special, this is just this is still me using up the last of my sort of kept beers. I think it was a Woodford's um, Boer Gold, um, which I'd, uh, for, certainly for a kit, I was quite impressed with. Um, Still got a wee bit of a, a, a homebrew twang to it, ever so slightly, but it is disguised the fact that um, it is a decent um, kit. Um, comes with quite a decent amount of hops, and so, you know, it is disguised a little bit, but, you know, it's um, a very, very decent um, everyday kind of drinking um, ale. Pardon me. Um, decent amount of lacing. Um, hop aroma isn't nearly as strong as it w once was. It's been in the bottle for quite several months now, so that's faded a little bit, but it's got a decent mouthfeel. It's still very enjoyable. Um, so, as um, <clears throat> many of you are aware, I, I do um, recently have got into all grain brewing, so I, I do a combination of really of um, all grain. Um, one small scale, one gallon batches and um, kits. Um, all my experience has mostly been in kits um, and you know they're still good and I'll still continue to do them and more than anything just to keep the pipeline flowing I still will you know brew uh, kits. Um, I like trying new things. Um, there's the most of the kits that I've tried, um, there's only a few that I've tried twice, um, just because I, I quite like trying new things and experiment with uh, new kits and seeing what they're like. But yeah, we were doing one gallon batches, as I said previously. Um, you know, I'm only getting maybe no more than eight half litre bottles, or if it's like a high ABV beer that I'm trying, I'll maybe get maybe get up to 11, 330 mils um, or thereabouts. Um, so yeah, um, in terms of a home brewing update, um, my pipeline is full. I've only got three demi johns, um, so I've got three batches that are fermenting away. Um, they are. Uh, I've got a strong Scotch ale that I've called Kilt Flasher. Um, very stereotypical, says the Scotsman in the room. Um, um, aiming for about eight point four percent for this one. Um, grain bill is, is as follows, uh, 725 grams Mara Sauter, 160 of Munich, 125 of Crystal 60, 70 grams of Demerara Sugar, um, the last 10 minutes of the boil, um, 40 grams of flaked barley, 40 grams of wheat, 20 grams of roasted barley and 4 grams of pale, pale chocolate malt. Um, hot profile as follows, um, Halatau and Chinook. Uh, two and a half grams of each at 75. Um, Cascade at 30, two and a half grams. And East Kent Goldings, two and a half grams at 10 minutes. Uh, Safel um, USO5 was the yeast. And I'm aiming for 26 IBUs. So quite low in term relative to the ABV. And that's kind of within the style. So I've never done a strong Scotch ale before. So it'll be quite interesting to see how that turns out. Um, brew log, um, when did I put this batch on? I put this batch on the 25th, which was, let me just quickly check. 25th was last Sunday. Uh, is that right? Yeah, so it's been on uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it's been brewing for ten days. Um, but there's still some activity. Um, I'm putting that down to the fact that it's been a higher ABV beer. I've never brewed a beer, um, with that high an ABV before. So I'm assuming that it just takes longer to ferment out. Um, kind of makes sense. Um, so yeah, that should hopefully be the next one that's um ready to uh bottle and uh, then my, my pipeline will be uh, a demi john will be available again uh, other two brews that i'm currently got on is a peppercorn rye ale um, the grain bill for this one was 400 grams mara Sauter, 240 of munich 200 of flaked rye 115 of biscuit and 40 of carapils um, aim for 5.6 percent abv and 29 IBUs, um, hot profile, 
Um, 4 grams challenger at 60, 4 grams challenger at 30, 3.2 fuggles at 10, 3.5 at 0, or flame out. And um, sort of to try something a little bit different, and, and again, based on reading some literature, um, despite it being in a, a sort of a, a rye beer, I'm actually using uh, Saf Brew T58. Um, I also put 10 grams of black pepper in at 30 minutes into the boil. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how that one turns out. Um, yeah, I've never... I, I, I've never actually used Saf Brew T58 at all. This is my first um, time of trying it. I think it's meant to be um, slightly spicy estuary. Um, I've used the WB06. It seems okay. Um, but, yeah, th this I just wanted to try an alternative, see what it brings to the party. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see how that one turns out. Um, I'm actually... I do have another uh, recipe... Um, for a peppercorn rye um, that I'm going to they're completely different recipes they use different yeast they've got a different grain bill um, I think they've probably got different hops as well so they're not going to be like at all whatsoever but it is another peppercorn rye um, recipe that I have um, in in the, in the bank so I'm just going to the next time um, my Damon John's free that's the next one I'm probably going to brew um, and then I'll probably do a side by side when they're both ready. That'll be quite interesting to do, I think. Hopefully for you guys to watch. Um, and then um, the last batch that I've got brewing currently is a Belgian Golden Strong Ale. Again, never done this one before. Um, it's a completely new type uh, that I've I've uh, brewed. So um, I didn't quite have a complete amount of Pilsen uh, or Pilsner Lager uh, Pilsen uh, malt that. I needed for this brew, so I've split it into sort of lager malt and pilsner, uh, pilsen malt. Um, so the grain bill, um, I've named this one Son of a Belgian Beast. Now, this is going to be a two-part series. Um, there's Son of a Belgian Beast, and there's also going to be the mother uh, of the Belgian Beast, or the um, which is, I think, um, a, is it a dark... A dark... Uh, let me see... It's a uh, yes, it's a Belgian dark strong ale. So that that's going to be a, a an interesting comparison, family beer. Um, uh, so yeah, never used this before, never done it before. So it's quite straightforward. Aim for eight percent ABV, twenty six uh, IBUs. Uh, it was six ninety eight lager malt because that's all I had. Um, Four eleven of pills in, uh, two hundred and twenty two grams of cane sugar. I've used golden. Um, and then Saz throughout the whole hop profile, 14 grams at 77 at 15 and 3.5 at 1. And again, I've used Safru T58. So um, that's been very active um, right from the word go. Um, quite a, a interesting colour, uh, sort of a, almost a, a luminescent yellow. Um, but who knows what will end up like once... Um, once it finishes fermenting, but uh, again, that's the, so that's the three that I've got uh, in the pipeline at the moment. As I said, um, got my second version of sort of peppercorn rye lined up um, once um, first demi John becomes available, and uh, I've got a few other things in the pipeline which I'll um, update you about in um, the days or weeks to come. Um, I think that's pretty much it for me. I don't have much else to say, um, other than maybe, um, I, I, it's not really brew related, but um, my partner's still, unfortunately, not very well in the hospital, um, hasn't really been responding to treatment, so um, they're looking for alter uh, looking at alternative um, treatment options um, that's been considered, um, that come with their own risk, but um, certainly it looks as if the pros outweigh the, the cons, so... That is probably going to be happening in the next few days or so. Um, so fingers crossed, Evan, touch wood, touch wood. Everyone goes um, well with that and then um, she'll sort of make a, a speedy, speedier recovery. Um, so, yeah, without making it too serious, um, try to keep it quite lighthearted. Uh, that's pretty much it for it this week. So cheers and uh, I'll be seeing you next week. Cheers. Bye.